Losses due to accidents at an amusement park are exponential. Insurance company offers the park owner two different policies with different premiums to insure against losses due to accidents. Policy A has deductible of 1.44 for a random loss probability is 0.64 that under this policy, the insurer will pay some money to the park owner. Policy B has deductible D for a random loss. The probability is 0.512 that under this policy, the insurer will pay some money to the park owner. Calculate D. So first let's see that the losses um, are exponential. Therefore, the CDF will be one minus e to the negative kx. And k is just a constant. I mean, if k is the mean, then it's e if one minus e power negative x over k. But in this particular problem, we don't care what the mean is. So we can even write it as one minus e to the negative kx. So remember the k that you're going to get is not going to be the mean now. Okay. So uh, policy A has deductible 1.44 and the probability is 0.64 that the insurer will pay money to the park owner. So the money is paid if the loss is greater than deductible. So basically this 0.64 is the probability that the loss will be greater than 1.44. So probability x greater than 1.44 is the 0 0.640. And uh, um, probability x is less than or equal to 1.44, which is what the CDF uh, at 1.44 will be. So that's equal to one minus uh, probability x greater than 1.44. So that's going to be 0 0.36. And now we substitute 1.44 in the CDF for X. So one minus E bar negative 1.44 K equals 0.36 or 0.64 equals E to the one minus E bar negative 1.44 K. If you take the E term on the right side and bring the 0.36 on the left and take ln and then divide by negative 1.44. So you get k equals 0 0.3099. And now uh, the payment for policy B happens if loss is greater than deductible. There we are not told what the deductible is. That's what we have to calculate. So again, we do the same game. Probability loss is greater than deductible. In this case is 0 0.512 because they said that 0.512 is the probability that a payment will happen. And we know the payment will happen if loss is greater than deductible. So again, we change it into less than equal to so that uh, this becomes F of D. So the less than equal to D will be one minus 0.512 equals 0.488. And now uh, we substitute D in the CDF. So we get one minus E bar negative KD. Now, although I know K, but I'm just keeping it in this step and equals 0.488. And so when I bring the 0.488 on the left and take the E term on the right, I get 0.512 equals E power. And now I've substituted the K value that was negative, K was 0 0.3099. And now take the LN and then divide by negative 0 0.3099. We get D to be 2.160. That was choice E.